to our beautiful state capitol. My name is Jan and I will be your tour guide as we explore how some of the decorative painting has been done throughout our building over our 130 plus year history. When our building was first completed in the late 1800s, our architects and legislators wanted to present to the people of Iowa, as well as all visitors to our state, a grand building. In 1884, the walls and ceilings of the House and Senate chambers, the library and Supreme Court chambers were artistically decorated by artists that hand painted the entire area using stencils to guide their already steady hands. Many other rooms were also hand stenciled and painted in 1885 through 1886. In 1882, a man named Ettore Mirigoli hand painted the ceiling in the Senate and House chambers at a cost of $6,500. In the Senate, the ceiling took Mirigoli and his staff six months to complete. In 1904, there was a fire in the House chambers. The fire caused the ceiling in the House to collapse. Once reconstruction of the chamber began, our state leaders contracted a man by the name of Elmer Garnsey to repaint the ceiling. Mr. Garnsey had an affinity, a love of gold leaf. Therefore, he did not repaint the ceiling as it looked in the 1800s. He redecorated with a heavy accent on gold leaf. The process of applying gold leaf is called gilding. Gold leaf is a very thin sheet of gold. It takes 250,000 sheets of gold leaf to equal one inch. To apply gold leaf to a surface, a stencil is first applied to the area. Then a gilder's glue is applied. The gold leaf is applied to the glue. A soft bristle paintbrush is used to remove the excess gold leaf, leaving a beautiful, gold leaf design. Over the years, other areas of the Capitol were decoratively painted, but during the Depression, many people thought the hand decorated walls and ceilings were ugly. Also, there was no extra money for further decorative work or maintenance. So most rooms were painted over with a solid color. In the mid 1970s, our legislators decided it was time to appropriate funds to begin the restoration painting once again. We are now in our third generation of restoration painters. We have two artisans on staff whose job is to maintain and restore all of the beautiful decoration in the building. Sometimes there is a maintenance problem possibly a water leak that makes the paint on the decorated wall peel off. Our restoration specialists work to repaint the damaged area and make it blend in with the existed, existing decorated wall or ceiling. To reach these areas, our artists must construct and stand on scaffolding. Sometimes our restoration artists discover that a surface has been repaired and painted incorrectly. It is their job to restore the area to the original look. They accomplish this by chipping or peeling off the old paint until they get to the last layer of color on the wall. That is the original. If there was a design on the surface, they have to study the area and remove more paint until they expose the original color and design. They replicate it by creating their own stencils, mixing their own paint, and then begin the repainting process. In the early 2000s, our state decided it was time to install air conditioning in the common areas of the building. Many attempts at this had been made before, but with no success. Eventually, it was decided to install air conditioning with a cold chill water method, a process that puts cold water through pipes that sends off cold air 
hence air conditioning. However, these units were an eyesore, so our restoration artists made a frame out of wood to encase the air conditioning pipes. They decoratively painted the wooden boxes until they looked like marble and blended in with the rest of the wall. This technique is called marbleizing. As you have seen and heard, keeping and maintaining the beauty of our state capitol requires an ongoing process by dedicated artisans. It is our hope that someday you will be able to see our state capitol in person and admire the beautiful work that lies within. <laughs>